Amen. This couple over here, I think it's Pastor Q and your wife, K. Q and K. K, Q, okay. Stretch your hands in their direction. Father, we just bless you for Q. And we bless you for K. And Q, I just hear the Spirit of God say, the Lord says, I took you and I adopted you. And I became your father when you asked me for one. And the Lord says, I adopted you as my own and I rescued you even when the enemy tried to take you out before your time. I delivered you from the violent one. I delivered you from the abusive one. I delivered you, says the Lord, out of trouble. And I took a troublemaker for darkness and I made him a troublemaker for my kingdom. For the Lord says, son, the enemy tried to make you a statistic and the enemy tried to throw you in a jail cell and the enemy told you that you were going to be a captive and an inmate and a prisoner. But I showed you that I am the God who breaks the jail cell free and the Lord says, I open the doors and I declared over you that you would not be anybody's gang but mine, says the Lord. And the Spirit of God says, you've seen it all. You've seen brothers die. You've seen people get shot. You've seen people get stabbed. You've seen people get killed. And I promise you, a thousand will fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it would not come near your dwelling. For the Spirit of God says, I saved you time without number, says the Lord. And the Lord says, it's because I marked you for my purpose that you are mine. And the Lord says, if people knew who you were before, and they knew the anger I had to pull out of you, and they knew the abandonment that I had to pull out of you, and they knew the rejection that I had to pull out of you, the Lord says they would not recognize the man that you were from the man that you are today. The Lord says, son, I don't just call you pastor, I call you city builder, says the Lord. For the Spirit of God says, I will release a hand of might upon you. And the Lord says, you will be known as a nation and city builder for me. For the Lord says, I will give you the resources. I will give you the strength. I will give you the capacity. And the Lord says, just as I opened your prison doors, I will release you to open others' prison doors as well, says the Lord. And the Spirit of God says, I will make you a testimony and a sign and a wonder in the earth of what my power can do to redeem times and seasons. And the Lord says, I will give you inner cities. I will give you places of dwelling. And the Lord says, you will transform them from me into structures for my kingdom. The Spirit of God says, I made you a man that had to forgive family. And I made you a man that had to even forgive family that passed away. And the Lord says, you had to be a man that was willing to walk in such a spirit of forgiveness that the Lord says, I might release you from being beholden to any kind of bitterness. For the Lord says, you wanted to build a family in front of you that you could love that wasn't like the family that was behind you. And so the Lord says, son, my promise to you is that I will raise a sure house in your midst, says the Lord. And the Spirit of God says, I will make you a father like you have not known, says the Lord. And the Spirit of God says, because I adopted you, I will make you one that will adopt others. And the Lord says, I will release you to be a man that can see broken down cisterns, foster systems, housing systems, prison systems, and release a liberty of my spirit as a testimony for the Lord says my fire is upon you and the Lord says over the two of you the spirit of God says you did everything by faith 
you met by faith, you got married by faith. I showed you that the Lord says I could fix whatever was a disagreement in other family members around about the two of you. That the Lord says I might make you a people that press forward anyway, regardless of what other people say. And the Spirit of God says you had to put blinders on the side of your eyes just to walk down the aisle, says the Lord. But the Spirit of God says, in your next journey, I'm releasing power and redemption. For the Lord says, I put the two of you together as a symbol of a unity that I want to release upon this nation, says the Lord. And the Spirit of God says, I am going to release the two of you as a sign and a wonder. And the Lord says, I will release the campus anointing. I will release, says the Lord, the gift of the evangelist that we started with, says the Lord. And the Spirit of God says, where you felt, God, I started in, in, in the streets, now I feel like I'm, uh, I, I don't want to be domesticated. The Lord says, my promise is, miracles, signs, and wonders will follow the two of you. And the Lord says, I will always release demonstration of my kingdom through the two of you. The Lord says over the two of you, can I release the entrepreneurial anointing? Can I release not just the ministry, can I release the business anointing as well? For the Lord says, son and daughter, I have given you a business to steward for me that my promise is 30, 60, and 100 fold return. For the Spirit of God says, I will raise up kingdom benefactors on the inside of the two of you and the Lord says if you will put your hands to the plow and if you will work with both hands not many days from now the Lord says there will be an investment there will be an investor and there will be a release a provision for the vision father right now in the name of Jesus we call forth this new day upon this precious couple. We call forth, Lord, even a healing of yesterday. Father, we speak, Lord, where uh, hope deferred made the heart grow sick. A desire fulfilled is getting ready to be a tree of life over the two of them. We release it right now in Jesus' name. And everybody can say, Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. And you may be seated. God bless you.